But the thing is because you have a committed cost and it has foreign uh, exchange implication, and they felt that the, 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 the commitment uh, has to be met, especially when I understand that the presidential yacht has already been delivered. Oh, okay. So, so, so for purpose of clarity, it's already so, um, signed, sealed, and delivered. It's just to pay the money. So the outcry is not even necessary. Yes. All right. Y yes, yes. So the, 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 the deal has been signed, but uh, signed and delivered, but not paid. So, and that's why, uh, that's what brought the inclusion of that uh, amount in the supplementary budget. And I'm not surprised. If you are surprised, it means that you under you underestimate the power of legitimacy, right? When a government is not legitimate, it's likely going to perform all its activities and functions illegitimately. By by law, a budget is a law, and that's why it goes through the House of Assembly for passage, right? And so, of course, you understand that the legislative arm is the um, law making arm of Gov of government, right? They make laws and then the um, executive implements, executes the laws. And of course, while the judiciary interprets the law, of course, and they, I don't know what they're interpreting, and then punish law offenders. By all situation right now, if you say you sent a supplementary budget to the um, House of Assembly, Right, and you ask them to look into it, review it, and then pass it to you. Whereas you have already taken delivery of the presidential yacht. <laughs> now, joke with the joke for this country. It's safe to say now that this is not a country, this is a banana republic, this is a criminal gang, this is um, a jungle of some sort. Right? It, it, this, is, this is a stamp on that um, fact, right? And you can take that to the bank moving forward. Because that's a senator, that's the majority leader of the, um, of the Senate, right? Agree that it has been signed, sealed, and delivered. There is nothing we are going to do. We are just ranting. We are making noise, right? The outcry, public outcry, like Ayo put it there, is for no cause. It's useless. And then this, there are some guys who are in the APC that have been defending this. There is a bio, a certain bio, no Nuga, who is essay to the uh, president. That have been saying that the presidential yacht is is a navy uh, requirement, so to speak, but he did not he, he, he did not say it has been delivered. You see, we do not have a revenue problem with this country. We have a problem with transparency and accountability of people that we call leaders that are non leaders uh, who who find their way in the hands of affairs. Unfortunately, either by whipping sentiment or tribe or religion or party to get in there, and that's what we have. By, by right, if the majority leader of the Senate can confirm that what you are sending to us to approve has already been signed, see that delivered, that's breaking the law, right? Uh, Nigeria is gone, right? It's totally gone. And then whether or not we want to dribble around it is not the, the point. It doesn't change it. Whether or not we want to... There are certain... Just like in the entertainment industry, sports, where we have certain um, highlights that shows a team can, can have good highlights and still lose the match. We have certain highlights. It's making you feel like it's going to get better. It's not getting better. It's getting worse by the day, actually. And it's depreciating. If there's a word better, maybe disintegrating, decomposing. Um, if there are other words, I would, I, would, I, would, I would let you know. But this country is gone, right? And then it's quite fortunate. A lot of us think that can be savage. So that's why we're adding our voices to a lot of the things that are being done, hoping that it gets better. But it doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon. Because you want to argue why you have received or you have taken delivery of a particular um, loss right. And the worst of all of all this is that what are we using to sponsor this 2.7 trillion Naira supplementary budget? Loans. <laughs> you know, it's, it's okay not to be aware. It's okay to be blind. It's okay to be ignorant. But just calm down a bit. We are not taking 2.7 trillion Naira from reserve somewhere and then investing it in some quality infrastructures like power, like roads, that like could ease 
means of doing business that could ease the plight of Nigerians, that could help them work faster, get more results, pay taxes, and the country has more, maybe in the nearest future, with long-term and mid-term plans, so to speak. We are going to borrow to buy SUVs of about 1.5 billion for the president, wife, first lady, renovate um, official residences in Lagos for them, and then pay for presidential yacht that has been signed, sealed, and delivered. Fix. We are boring to do very stupid things. I don't blame Tinubu actually. I blame those of you that go on social media because even Tinubu will be laughing at us at this point. The same government that said that it is no longer time for litigation. It's not time for serious governance. This is the serious governance. I give up on Nigeria. Today, I give up on this country finally. And then, it is well moving forward. God bless you.